So this is a plagioclase feldspar. It is similar in chemical formula to quartz. It is a silicate. A lot of these rocks are silicates. They're chemical formula ends in SiO2, uh, but they'll have some other elements out there in front of them as, as cations. Um, this one will have a lot of sodium in it. And we'll look at another feldspar uh, next, which is this one. So feldspars are a, uh, a kind of a group of silicate minerals, and a lot of the times you'll find them in granite. So here's a piece of granite. You can see the pink stuff in this piece of granite is this stuff, not hard to imagine. Uh, here is a different piece of granite. It's not this pink feldspar, which we'll talk about later. It's this plagioclase uh, feldspar that exists in here along with quartz and some other darker minerals. So the feldspars are a very, very important rock-forming uh, mineral group. If on the test you see something and you think you can't remember if it's, oh, if it's plagioclase or this one, potassium feldspar, you can also just always just put a feldspar and I'll give you half credit, if not more. Anyway, this is plagioclase feldspar. Uh, it has two planes of cleavage in this direction and this direction. And on these sides over here, it's there's no cleavage. It's just a rough, rough fracture. What's special about potassium feldspar, sorry, plagioclase feldspar, is it'll have striations. And I'm going to angle it just right in the light here. In fact, let's let's turn on my other light here. I'm using the outdoor <coughs> light because I think it just works better than this, but I can get things brighter. So if you look at that reflection right there, you can kind of see some lines. And those are called striations. It's almost like, let's see if this helps out. It almost looks like a barcode pattern. Yeah, look at that right right in that area. Kind of looks like a barcode. You might not be able to see this on all your hand samples. Some of them you should be able to see it. Uh, but it's a, it's a unique characteristic that this mineral has that I don't think any other minerals have. Don't quote me on that. There's certainly none other in, your, in the stuff that we're going to be looking at and that uh, general geology students look at. But uh, it's a way to, to identify it in a special special property. Maybe I'll make this a bonus question somewhere on a test. Um, ah, yeah, you can see it really good right there. Kind of see those those striations, that kind of barcode pattern. And this isn't something that's on on the rock. Like if I hold it up close, like it's you could don't you can't feel those lines. It's just something that's within the crystal face. Um, so anyway, that's plagioclase feldspar. It's fairly hard, being that it's a, a silicate. I'll let you see whether it'll scratch the glass or not. You can go look up the hardness. Um, and, and yeah, the real way to identify it is uh, it, it can be a number of different colors, uh, but it'll always kind of have this sort of milky look to it. Uh, but the, the two planes of cleavage, but not a third, and then the striations really help you uh, to identify it. So, plagioclase feldspar.